A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the, free, from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
redemption. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke. We too believe, and therefore we speak, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Therefore, we are not discouraged. Rather, although our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to what is seen, but to what is unseen. For what is seen is transitory, but what is unseen is eternal. For we know that if our earthly dwelling, a tent, should be destroyed, we have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him honor. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. Son. He is risen, yeah, greater than he that within the world, greater is he that within me, than he that within the world, yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greater, greater is he that within, than he that within the world. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came home with his disciples. Again, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. And when his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, he's out of his mind. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said, he is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That's the end of him. But no one can enter a strong person's house to plunder that property unless they first tie up the strong one. Then they can plunder the house. When well, men, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said he is an unclean spirit. His mother, his sisters and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they said to her, the word to him and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, your mother, your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, who are my mother and my sisters and my brothers? And looking around at those seated in the circle around him, he said, here are my mother and my sister and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother, my sister, and my mother. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. So we find God in the garden saying, Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Now, I can't imagine that the God who created the universe didn't know where they were. And I believe that God is saying, where are you? To raise Adam and Eve's consciousness of where they are and why they're there and the consequences of their